Hello again, I'm Greg Fritz, a doctor of physical therapy and a specialist in musculoskeletal um, sonography. And I am fortunate to have with me today my friend and patient, Randy. Um, and uh, recently, Randy has been dealing with some uh, building, um, building wrist pain. And so I'm fortunate in my practice to be able to have access to the uh, scanner from Clarius that will allow me to take a window into his wrist and look at some of the bony ligaments, soft tissue, and certainly identify uh, areas where uh, inflammation exists. Simply taking the probe, going long axis on the back of the wrist, we're going to be able to see the white hyperechoic echo texture of the wrist joint. Uh, you can see just with this easy scan on the back of the wrist uh, what the carpal bones look like. And unlike uh, a young, healthy wrist, you're seeing um, debris uh, around all of the different carpal joint regions and darkness uh, at showing effusion and the amount of uh, irritation that, that surrounds that. I'm just showing you from on, on the, on the uh, left of the screen is, uh, uh, is the radius. And as we come down, you can see the, the carpal bones that are showing all types of topography. And the important part is the dark, uh, fluid-filled areas uh, that basically document a, a significant amount of osteoarthritis that, that is already part of this. And then all the way over to extensor carpi ulnaris. But while you're looking at that, you can also see that darkened area around that, the, the thickening of the synovial uh, sheath continuing to demonstrate that, that he's put some miles on these wrists. However, as I'm now going to go down uh, distal, I'm going to be taking a look at the sc scaphoid lunate uh, ligament, um, trying to also have you realize that uh, there is such a... Um, the topography of these carpal bones are showing such hills and valleys and potholes. Uh, this is the definition of wrist osteoarthritis. Um, but uh, we are seeing at the center of the screen there uh, that his scaphalunate ligament is intact, uh, does not show any uh, compromise from this position. What I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be doing long axis. The top white line is the distal ulna and as we drop off the distal ulna we're going to be coming on to the triquistrium or, or the, the, the ulnar, the carpal ulnar joint and in between those two and I'm going to be radially deviating I'm going to have you leave your elbow right there and I'm going to turn your wrist just a little bit there so I want to open that up we're going to be looking down between the ulna that is that uh, bone on the left and the uh, carpal bone here, the triquitrium, and we're going to be looking for fluid. We're going to be looking for that classic TFCC cartilage, and I'm coming from the dorsal component because you're seeing the fibers of the extensor carpi ulnaris show up there. You're also seeing the end of the ulna showing some periosteal defects in that region, and we're getting a window down deep between the ulna and the carpal bone. And I'm not seeing a cyst. I'm not seeing any type of, of um, fluid containing reactive effusion. Um, but I am also not seeing a homogeneous um, uh, fibrocartilage disc that we would expect. So in order to clarify that more, I'm simply going to take his wrist. We'll turn it over this way. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. So let's have you put your uh, arm over this so that, there we go, now I can come down underneath. I'm going to look here. Yeah, that's actually a fabulous view of the TFCC. Um, we can see all the way through to the distal radius. So we're actually seeing all of the ligaments that are associated with the triangular fibrocartilage on that view right there. Um, it's just that there is enough darkness that are, that's surrounding this fibrocartilage and, uh, and that's right where his discomfort is. Um, I, I, and the actual fibrocartilaginous complex is showing me enough um, 
heterogeneity or, or inconsistency um, that I, I, am, I am feeling concerned about us needing to go to a little bit more of a gold standard imaging which would most likely be an MRI in this case. And um, I'm actually thinking I'm, I'm pretty well able to uh, confirm a tear in that complex. Think about it. To actually be able to identify the structures of the triangular fibrocartilage with, with ultrasound in your own clinic is, is got to be something that just is blowing your mind. After reviewing Randy's wrist um, from a physical therapy standpoint, um, I've identified enough pathology involving the TFCC that I'm going to elevate this uh, to specialty um, consultation. Without this uh, ability to confirm uh, that um, there, are, th there were not components of uh, the wrist uh, scan that um, were flagged as pathological, uh, we do have a green light to proceed forward with range of motion uh, and uh, a very appropriate referral for specialty intervention.